WHO has had its ups and downs since it was established 75 years ago. Life expectancy globally for both sexes has increased from 46 to 73 years, with the biggest gains in the poorest countries. Smallpox has been eradicated and polio is on the brink. Antibiotics were first used in 1910 and by the 1950s they were being rolled out in huge numbers around the world. It was the WHO's task to advise less developed countries on their use and benefits. In 1974, the health bodies started to vaccinate children across the globe against many childhood diseases such as measles. In 2001, together with other UN agencies, the WHO launched a global fund to combat the spread of AIDS, tuberculosis and malaria. In 2009, the first influenza pandemic in 40 years broke out and the global health agency worked with pharmaceutical industries to develop a vaccine against the new H1N1 virus. Five years later, an Ebola outbreak hit Guinea, then spread to nine countries including the US, Italy and Nigeria. The WHO deployed teams to West Africa to curb the spread of the virus. And on March 11, 2020, the WHO declared the global outbreak of the novel coronavirus a pandemic, when COVID-19 had been confirmed in more than 100 countries. Was it too little, too late? The global health body came under immense scrutiny with critics accusing the organization of being slow to recognize the scale of the threat. It also drew a major backlash when it initially said it was unnecessary for healthy people to wear face masks due to the potential of a massive global shortage, but changed its tune a short time later. And WHO urged countries not to close their borders to foreigners traveling from China, where the virus originated from. That drew outrage from then U.S. President Donald Trump. Today I'm instructing my administration to halt funding of the World Health Organization while a review is conducted to assess the World Health Organization's role in severely mismanaging and covering up the spread of the coronavirus. Already 6 million people have died from COVID-19. And while many lives have been saved through the collective efforts in creating vaccines, critics say the WHO has to learn some serious lessons from the pandemic if it is to last another 75 years. Kubra Akoc, TRT World.